it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. <laughs> A down and out O.J. Simpson, depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> Charles Woodson. How about that? Oh, what a season he had. Great, man. He, he became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case... <laughs> A new book claims that Madonna once smeared peanut butter all over John F. Kennedy Jr.'s body and then licked it off. Which just goes to show you, Madonna's a whore. <laughs> and finally, Weekend Update would like to congratulate Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through Madonna's birth canal. <laughs> this week in a secret ceremony in Australia, Michael Jackson was married for the second time. Asked what makes his new bride special, the king of pop said, quote, she has taught me about the power of imagination, like imagining that a grown woman is a 10-year-old boy. You know he's a homosexual pedophile, right? You understand? <laughs> Sources report that Michael Jackson's baby is due February 27th, and it's going to be named Michael Jackson Jr. Michael plans to be with the mother during the delivery. In his words, to make up for not being there for the contra... <laughs> Sources report that Michael Jackson's baby is due February 27th. Conception. The last word was conception, so. Michael Jackson? Yeah. Did you mean to say Michael Jordan there, or my, do you want to say Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. He, yeah. he said, I heard a quote where he said, he, he said, I don't care if uh, my child is a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. as long as it's a boy. <laughs> He's going to name it. He said he doesn't know what he's going to name it. He said, he said he thinks if it's a girl, he's going to name it uh, Sharon. Really? Yeah. And if it's a boy, he's going to have sex with it. <laughs> That's what he said. Safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentage in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> for those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, now you don't know what the hell to do. Man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> I came in, and he was supposed to be the, uh, my, uh, kind of, my guide through SNL, and uh, it turned out that he is a, a shitster. I'm not gonna guide any lady through comedy. That would take me, uh, first of all, I'd have to figure out how a lady could do comedy. <laughs> you know? And then I'd have to... People often say to me, you know who the real heroes are? I go, are they the real heroes? They go, no, I go, oh, they're the teachers. <laughs> It's counterintuitive that it doesn't seem like a heroic job, but yes. <laughs> First of all, if you're a teacher, you get the same fun of vacations as a child. You get about, what, four months a year off? <laughs> My vacation? 
I got I, almost no time off. I work 48 weeks a year. <laughs> like four weeks a year I get up. What about you? <laughs> Not one of those fucking teachers, right? <laughs> Like a teacher. <laughs> now, are you a teacher? What do you teach? What grade? High school. What grade? What, what grade? <laughs> no, but what grade? <laughs> Not so uh, easy when it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> it's always easy to ask the questions. <laughs> <laughs> the real heroes are the fucking students. <laughs> Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what grade do you teach? Nine through twelve. Nine through twelve. So you need a grade thirteen education. <laughs> now, you're, now you're the real hero. Now you're the real hero. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're the real hero. <laughs> Her husband said, you're not the real hero, shut the fuck up. Do you have a hero? Uh, Norman Fell from Three's Company. That's your hero? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Roper. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Roper? Yeah. That's not a good hero. It's all I got. <laughs> Better than this guy's hero is some gay porn actor. But anyway. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what do no, you say? Let me tell you something about gay porn. What? Seriously. <laughs> it's fine. That was a long one. Okay. No, I'll tell you something about gay porn. Seriously. Okay. That doesn't mean a guy's gay. I'm not saying that. Because a guy watches gay porn all the time. It's cut to a single. <laughs> Just of no, norm, really? gay porn. I enjoy gay porn. I'm not gay. Gay porn is a genre that just cuts across all demographics. You know? Young people, old people, straight people, the gay people enjoy it. Everybody <laughs> likes gay porn. But this guy really likes it. No, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I heard patriotic music playing behind yeah. that speech. No, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to talk about Bob Dole. <laughs> This guy's my no. This guy's my hero. <laughs> Ruined my reputation, know. you know. No. Yeah. I'll Just tell you in something. passing. This guy is not gay. If anybody's not gay, it's this guy. Oh, I'm, I'm so. Seriously. I am so totally straight. <laughs> oh yeah. No, you are. You oh, are. I love the ladies. <laughs> no, he does. We get a dramatic press conference about the crash of TWA Flight 800. ABC News correspondent Pierre Salinger displayed a document which he believes is proof that the jet was shot down by a U.S. Navy missile. Later, he proudly showed reporters his solid gold Rolex that he bought on the street for just $15. <laughs> That's one ugly bastard, isn't it? <laughs> Here we see the president and the first bitch. Gosh, Hillary looks pretty in this photo here, doesn't she? I never realized she was such a looker until I see her here in this, this picture. But you see, the only way Bill Clinton, or Bob Dole can win, really, is if Bill Clinton is rocked with more scandals. You know, yeah. there's every day a new scandal comes up, you know. I heard this one today, terrible scandal, apparently. Back, way back when he was governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton, apparently, he got really drunk one night, and he had uh, sex with uh, Hillary. Wow. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, what? That's not good. That's a shocking, shocking thing. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been married? Seven months. Seven months, which is a record. <laughs> you know, I just is the first. I've never. Re I've been married, Larry, uh. but I've never been married, married. Married, married. This is married, married. Very like She's uh, my friend. Like, I love her. I see. That's what Clinton says about his wife, isn't it? In Whitewater News, federal regulators quizzed Hillary Clinton at the White House this week and gave her a perfect score on the lying section. She's a dirty liar. Uh, you know, of course, they say the White House is haunted. Did you know that? 
And uh, I thought this was kind of sad. I heard uh, last night that President Clinton uh, charged uh, Abraham Lincoln's ghost 10000 to sleep in his own bed. So that's... That doesn't seem right to me, you know? I mean... <laughs> no. But look, the president, you know, has come under a lot of fire for raising money. But, you know, you know he's good at it. He's good at raising money. That's not a bad thing. Every president's done it. It's just that President Clinton is very, very, very good at it. Do you know he has organized in the past year over 100 fundraising dinners and over 200 fundraising midnight snacks? Did you know that? <laughs> is he laughing? Is he... Is he... Okay, Norm, you're Canadian. Yes, I am. So what do you think of this whole presidential mess? Uh, well, I, I hope that uh, uh, the Democrats don't steal the election from the, uh, the winner. <laughs> you like George Bush, don't you? I love George Bush, man. He's a good man, decent. You know, uh, none of this. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's not a, a liar, a crook, murderer, or anything like that, so... It'd be good to get the... See, I, I, don't, I think we should get the homicide out of the White House and get, like, a, a, a fresh start, because we don't want any more murderers. I think no, we, we should just go on to the next question. Oh. Who are the murderers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, we're not allowed, no, to, you're not no, allowed um, to put out no, no, um, accusations without... That's a little Charlie. too far. That's the way it does let's work. Just, let's just go on to the next question. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is not my week. What can I tell you? <laughs> Oh, it's not mine either, and I'm being very nice, okay? <laughs> Be a good boy. Now, Norm. Do you never hear that? No. Listen, Norm, we don't need I to don't talk get about into that. this, and I don't want to hear it, and this is not the place to make those accusations. And you're supposed to be funny. Oh. Let's get on right. Exactly. So get with it. There you go. This is a live show. Not wow. Norm, but you have been properly chastised by Barbara. Oh. So I'm not going to ask the next. I thought it was a matter of record. Shut no. up. Uh, no. Shut up. Look, okay. let me do this, okay? okay? I'll tell you what's a matter of record. You will not be invited back if you don't shut up. Uh, All right, uh, hey. <laughs> Let's talk football. All right, man, manslaughter. Let's talk football. Oh, Norm. <laughs> Norm. The people here asked me to do the show, you know, I got to say, I felt kind of weird, you know. I, I don't know if you remember this. But uh, I used to actually be on this show, you know? Uh, I used to do the uh, weekend update news routine. You remember that? And, uh, yeah. That's where I did the make-believe news jokes, you know? That was me, right? So then, a year and a half ago, right, I had a sort of a, a disagreement with the management at, uh, at the NBC. Uh, I wanted to keep my job, right? <laughs> And they felt the exact opposite. <laughs> so, so you see, they like, uh, they fired me because they said that I wasn't funny, you know? <laughs> now, now with most jobs, I could have had a hell of a lawsuit on my hands for that, but, but see, this is a comedy show. <laughs> so they got me, you know, you know what? <laughs> you know what? But now, this is the weird part, right? It's only a year and a half later, and now, they asked me to host the show. <laughs> so I wondered, I go, hey, wait a second here. Hey! I go, how did I go in a year and a half from being not funny enough to be even allowed in the building <laughs> to being so funny that I'm now hosting the show? How did I suddenly get so goddamn funny? <laughs> It was inexplicable to me, because a year and a half, let's face it, is not enough time for a dude to learn how to be funny. <laughs> then it occurred to me, I haven't gotten funnier. The show has gotten really bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm funny compared to, you know, well, you'll see later. <laughs> Okay, so let's recap. The bad news is 
I'm still not funny. The good news is, the show blows. All right, folks, we got a bad show for you tonight. Dr. Dre, Snoop Doggy Dog, and Eminem are here.